Donhue Mitchell, their leading scorer. As well as centre back. Not often you see that Donhue Mitchell who scored eight goals from centre back. Real total football looking to be employed here by Craig Butler. An opportunity appeal for a penalty referee to see this Mona team in action this season. And it has been a treat. Ball goes the other way. Takers. He had to win it on him, but he has speed and pace. Gets around Rapino Gordon inside the box. The cross is brilliant this time by Tony Mitchell in the right place at the right time. Brooks for Bulma sends it forward, they have space if they can get possession of the football. But again, good work from Daniel Mitchell at the back four. Mitchell was there but he gave it away. And, and here is Duaney again. Cuts it across. Daniel Mitchell. Daylight. Daylight between Mona and Bulma now.
from Marcus Ricky. Taking the ball away there. Gordon doing the scene. I'll keep my choice and forward now for Brandon Collins. Oh, what an enlightened ball to Dixon. Who can't get the shot away. For the left side. For Reed. He's cross headed away on the ground. from the penalty spot to give Mona High the lead. It's Mona High one Jamaica College nil. Kim Bernard is Russica Rose in fact in goal of course for Jamaica College and it's a big opportunity for Mona here to take an early lead in this contest. Don Hugh Mitchell what an opportunity here. Steps up to shoot, scores! The underdogs take the lead in this Manning Cup semi-final. What a Champions Cup by Clarendon College. plays at the back. He's been given license on quite a few occasions to just go up the field. Done. But it has still given ch other teams chances to get silverware. Jackson trying to win it. But uh, Mitch 